Mm -hmm. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if the setup this time. It looks like it looks like Chocolate Paladins is taking the same exact setup as Holy Crusaders here, going for a hard A defense. Uh one and one on B side for both teams right now. Um, looks like it's going to be a 50-50 shot. Let's see if anyone actually watches that tab right flank the flank in or if they're going to get sandwiched the same as everybody else has so far. Uh, let's see if they get, uh, let's see if that happens here. We'll have to see what happens. Um, the unit comp is very interesting for Holy Crusaders. Bringing some blue jabs as a fill unit, uh, with double golds. I'll uh, we'll have to see how that works out for them. Not Ripcats bringing uh, Condotary to start. I'm not really a fan of Condotary. We'll have to see how that plays out. Also, Max Howell is bringing, uh, bagpipes. Uh, what, is, what are our thoughts on bagpipes, guys? What are our thoughts on, bag, on bagpipes? They're very interesting on that. Very interesting indeed. Hmm. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Julian Mitz gives down a sub out to Adam Zetti. Adam Zetti gives him the, give the gift sub. That's very generous. Honestly, well deserved, Adam Zetti. You deserve that sub, bro. The Discords are listed in the panels below, by the way. Who is winning so far? Chocolate Palance has walked away with the first W. Looks like the prediction points are in. 23,000 for Holy Crusades this time round to Chocolate Paladins 154,000. We'll have to see how this plays out. If Chocolate Paladins does take the L, someone's getting a massive payout confirmed. Holy Crusades going for that hard A side push again. It looks like both teams are going to be going hard A, anteing hard A right off the bat. Uh, Chocolate Paladins immediately going for wall pressure, anteing walls, going trying to take down. It looks like Echo Slayer and the boys will take the central approach this time. Cash off on the gap side. Fat Boy going in a two v one scenario against Tau and Roll. Two of the two, Tau, one of the strongest players on that team, taking the B side approach. Kind of hanging out back there, watching the back line, kind of taking a laissez faire approach to this. Probably running around with Keshe, so I do say so myself. I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look. He is running around with Keshe. He's classic Tau with Keshe. That's probably what I would do with Keshe Tau as well. Uh, looks like Gap and Central will be the play here. Wall side being pressured this time by by Chocolate Paladins. Let's see if they actually set up here. They do not have a kill box save in the same little box. They have a small kill box, but most part, they're pretty close to the walls. Really focusing the walls at this point in time. We'll have to see how this goes, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have to see how this goes. Ball Boys definitely coming into effect here for the Holy Crusaders. Two sets of Ball Boys on the field at this moment in time. Actually, one set of Ball Boys, excuse me. Two sets of flames out for Chocolate Paladins. They are not taking any risk out here. They're down. They want. They do not want to lose. They do not want to lose A or B. They they wanted to commit two to flame sets. That's a lot of flames, guys. Looks like a much slower play this time by Holy Crusaders. They're not pressuring as hard. They're not going right right on in. Uh, taking a much slower approach. We'll have to see how this plays out. Adam Zeddy also getting out of some of the daddy say very generous, but thank you so much. Very generous, brother. It does look like, at this point in time, Holy Crusaders is going gap side slightly, but Central is not being pressured at all. They have guns set up on the alleyway, shooting down onto the Central approach. Nice ante there by Chocolate Paladins. These sentries won't mark anything coming through, and they can't jump up there easily. Uh, they look like they're going to climb the ladders a little bit. Gap side being pressured. Flanking play on gap side right now. This is the main play right here, ladies and gentlemen, happening for Holy Crusaders right now. Claymore's charging in from the flank. Pal Palace Guards on the other side of the flank. Reaper's trying to ante it. Um, they're just kind of tagging it. Double flames shooting out already. They are they're already working double flames on the gap. Kind of prioritizing gap here. Central being pressured right now by Holy Crusaders. Good play by Holy Crusaders. They are too focused on gap. Holy Crusaders going for a full central push. Ignoring all the shit on the side. Those flames are smoking them. Big flame play right there. We'll have to see how those flames play out. They're definitely going to stun some units. Not enough. It's just not enough, ladies and gentlemen. The momentum for Holy Crusaders here might be just enough. Flames going back there, firing flames back. It's a flame on flame scenario here, ladies and gentlemen. Holy Crusaders going for a hard push here, going for a full commit. Capside needs to make a play there and sandwich them. Central's in at this point in time. They have guys in the back line with Jab was shooting at them. Fort Buck is trying to get up in the fight, trying to make a play here. Impacts are banned, so they don't have Impacts ready. Tau coming with Keshex. He makes a flanking play and ran right into Fort Buck. Yes, unfortunate for Tau. It does look like Chocolate Palance is sustaining A, though. Though it is a 50-50 trade. First trip of the day, finally going off about time. Does wipe out some of Tao's remaining Keshigs. Uh, there are units on the Javelins on the back line. Pikes on the back line harassing as well. It does not look good for Holy Crusaders here. Um, they are going to get pushed out for sure at this point in time. They do not win this exchange. Uh, the flank was just too much. They are going to get cleared there. They do get cleared and confirmed cleared. Chocolate Palace does get a chance to reset up. A lot of flames right there. Keshigs coming in. Even though those Keshigs did get wiped, they did do enough damage to make it happen. All credit goes to Maximus if the <laughs> all credit goes to Maximus if Chocolate Paladins wins. I have questions. I have questions. It does look like Chocolate Paladins does decisively win that exchange, putting Holy Crusaders back in their spawn. 
Uh, the loss, they, they, they do take a loss. They're only down 100 units. It's still anybody's game at this point in time. They can come back from this 100%, ladies and gentlemen. Another trap going off, kind of like a wild trap. Not really sure where the shot was for that one. Holy Crusaders getting set back up, taking it slow. I'm not really sure who their shot caller is here. I don't think uh, I don't think Chocolate Paladins really knows what they're doing either. B side gate is still close. So they don't have any pressure on B side. B side has no worry, is no mind, no not in the mind of Chocolate Paladins at this point in time due to the gate being closed. Um, so they have time to have full 15 commit to A and kind of prioritize A at all times here. Gap and A being pressured again. Uh, this time they have guys on the flank. Kaisa on the flank with Cav, and they are reinforcing the tab right. They won't be able to do a sandwiching effect here with guys on the tab right like that. B side also being watched. It looks like one guy coming in Fulgrim, Vulcan, pulling Tau and Roll to go chase him real quick whilst putting them in a 14 v 13 scenario for A side. We'll have to see if Gap and Central. Here they come, guys. Here they come right now. Gap and Central pushing in now. Fatboy, Bjorn, Wolf, and Castro taking the Gap side approach. And then Nutella Waffles in the remaining stack going through a Central approach. We'll have to see if, this, if they're able to pull it off here. On the tab right side, not Ripcats and Ripcats are playing smart here. They've realized that flank is where they're getting sandwiched. And they're actually watching it pretty decisively with their heroes. Cav starts ready to clear up the mess. Weighs down on the flank, ready to clear up the mess here, ladies and jump. It does look like, it does look like those Hussars will come in, or, or if they don't come in now, Hussars Holy Crusaders will take this A point decisively right now. They are backing up, giving, are they giving A? They are A is being decisively taken at this point in time by Holy Crusaders. Holy Crusaders is able to wipe out a bunch of heroes from Chocolate Palace, takes A decisively. Uh, Chicane Cowboy, Tao, and Roll on the back line trying to get back in the fight, but there's Madaz Brace on with Claymores and Reapers. It does look like Holy Crusaders will take A here. Chocolate Palace is not able to get it done, not able to sustain the stars coming in hot. The four blankets are not set up. The guns are shooting, but it's just not enough. Big clear there for the stars, but those stars are now gone. A lot of cop being lost here by Chocolate Palace. They're kind of inting in cap. No one on the flank again. Tab right will no flank again on the tab right. They're just trying to go for a 50-50 trade here. And it does look like Holy Crusaders wants this W. They want this win. Um, they will have to kill off that long sword and that dual blade. Otherwise, those short swords will get in there and try to body block them for two minutes. They are going to try to do full commit here. It does look like Chocolate Palace has almost all cab out and a handful of infantry with flames mixed in. Just trying to body block the point, get Cav onto the point. There is a reinforcement to Ted right now. It does not look like Holy Crusaders will get it done in time. There comes the reinforcement to Chocolate Paladins. Holy Crusaders does not have a re it's kind of reeling from that. They did not have reinforcements to get to sustain at this point in time. Chocolate Paladins is clearing it back off. There's not enough time, ladies and gentlemen. There's not enough time. It does look like Chocolate Palance will resecure A here. Very close play by Holy Crusaders, but they weren't able to get enough DPS on the point to wipe out the rest of the heroes. A couple heroes clutched that for Chocolate Palance confirmed. Um at this point in time, it does not look good for Holy Crusaders. They're fighting a 50-50 scenario, but only a minute 30 on the clock. They only need a second. They only need one guy to make a crazy play, but it doesn't look like they have... I mean, the unit, the, unit, the unit count is definitely in the favor right now of Holy Crusaders. They can come back from this, ladies and gentlemen. They need to rally. They have a minute and 25. It ain't over. It's not over, ladies and gentlemen. Holy Crusaders can come back from this. They can make a play. All they need is one big wipe, and they're in. A lot of units on this point. They are capping B. Half B for free. They have half cap B for free. Uh, Kokex is there getting some free gains. Two more heroes coming to support. Let's see what they have. It doesn't look like they have cash eggs. They're not going to be able to get done. A is definitely secure at this point by uh, Chocolate Power. And if they don't have enough time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they need to press W a little faster. The unit count is still very even. If they get a point here, it's still anybody's game if they get A or B here. Yeah, it's not looking good for Chaka, for Holy Crusaders right now. Chaka Palace has them both points locked down. They are not willing to give up these points. They realize they could full commit both these points to this. Yeah, it's definitely going to be, I think, Holy Crusaders' uh, loss here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll have to see. They have 30 seconds to make a play, and they got not a lot here yet. And A is being heavily, heavily watched at this point in time. They need a big play. Bagpipes are playing for Chaka Palace. I got a question mark in the chat. I have no idea why they bring bagpipes. Um... Yep, it does look like Chaka Paladins will try to hold A here. Holy Crusade is making a last dish effort for A, um, but they don't have enough there to really get done. Their unit comp is just not there anymore. Uh, neither really is. There's a couple of gold and purple units still in the field for Chaka Paladins, but, I mean, it's still anybody's game. I Actually, no, it's not. It's one second left. I lied. It's over. Yep. Yeah, it's over, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, that was a much closer fight. Uh, Holy Crusaders and Chocolate Palance really duking it out for A and B there. Uh, very even unit count in the end there. Um, a lot of inting by Chocolate Palance there for a little bit. Holy Crusaders definitely had an opportunity or two. 
and just couldn't get it done. They just couldn't get it done. Let's play some ambient music. The war is over, ladies and gentlemen. The war is over. You know, I have big respect for both these teams. It was a very uh, a very hard fight for both teams involved. Uh, Chocolate Paladins came to play tonight, ladies and gentlemen. They took away the dub decisively uh, 2-0 against uh, against Holy Crusaders. Chocolate Paladins taking the 2-0 against Holy Crusaders. Uh, Tao walking away with MVP here, followed by Colt45 and Pringles. Bigger Apple taking the MVP for Holy Crusaders with Randon and Gregorius following up. Uh, both teams, much, much more even uh, troop count. If you notice the unit counts on this fight, much e more even. Unfortunately, it looks like the bottom bracket. Uh, it does actually looks like Fulgrim did better Canadian on the bottom back bracket there for sure. Um, you know, this could this fight could have gone either way. I think Holy Crusaders got pretty unlucky on that. Um, there was a couple times they could have really got it. It was a very close game. If they had taken A or B there, I think that could have been anybody's game. Um, very nice try. Bag probably play carry. I don't know about that, but it was a very nice try by both teams. Mad respect for both teams. Um, shout out to Chocolate Powder, shout out to Holy Crusaders, NA versus NA, a lot of egos on the line. It was honestly an honorable fight. I have no, I don't think there'll be any self in that. That was an honorable fight. Um, we'll have to see here. As you can see, there was a lot committed to A. I mean, look at, look at the post battle analysis. Look at all that was committed there. As you can see also by B, I, I just pointed at the map like you guys can see it. Honestly, I got a question mark in the chat right now. Like, dude, I literally just pointed at B and I'm like, you guys can't even see my finger pointing. Honestly, I should be a teacher, bro. I'm going to get like a PowerPoint board and